All right, quick update on the progress on our 79 Mocha Californian. As you can see, the cage is on and now secured. Um, it was a bit of a pain, but it's on there. One of the complications was right here. So this is a cover for the battery terminals. You get a flat battery, pop the cover off, get to the terminals, jump start it, good to go. Um, this was right in the way. There really wasn't room to cut that out. So this is now permanently affixed. You can get, you see I also swap these bolts out for stainless. You can, all, you can get a, a terminal relocation deal, like basically a bent piece of steel that would, or aluminum, aluminum that would sit right there with the terminals on. They're expensive and I'm not convinced I couldn't build one myself. <laughs> Um, anyway, I've got a grab handle on. Um, I really like the cage design. I think it's going to work really well. Um, the grab handle here. Also grab a hole up here. Um, yeah, what else is new? Different steering wheel. The original one, it's long gone. It was a Motolita. Didn't really like that. It was a bit too big. Not enough space down in here. So went with a regular mini one that was basically rubber it was gray wanted it black cleaned it up painted it paint started coming off so we've gone to black leather was able to secure this as you can see there's a zip tie on there i'm not real happy with that not sure what the final version of that is going to be um got the rear view mirrors on this was a nightmare so I managed to find these brackets on ebay and thought oh great i'll just you know use some old series land rover uh, mirrors right in the back well that wasn't working so that's why i had to build this plate and then bend it so that didn't go quite as well as I hoped, but they work. Um, these are actually neoprene um, lug nut covers. I figured they'd kind of clean up. I don't know if they're going to stay on there, but at least, you know, it's a little softer there. Corbo bench is in. Uh, this was originally black, had it redone in white. I'm not convinced that was a brilliant idea because I think it's going to show marks. It uh, folds and then tumbles. I'm probably going to have a cover made to go over it and just kind of around it for when it's not used to keep it clean. Um, there are also brackets that hold that down there. Because this is a different shape from a Jeep, they're going to have to be adapted. But I think I'm probably going to put those in because I think it will make it a lot safer. Um, seat belts were a bit of a pain. Um, one thing I learned very quickly is that speed, if you have this up here, it just beats itself to death off of here. Um, so that was a minor adjustment. Steering wheel is uh, now black and leather. The old one was gray rubber, painted it, paint came off, decided to go back with one of these. Um, seat belts mounted on the bottom of the seats here. What else? I think that's pretty much it. Um, it's really fun to drive. Um, certainly got the wind in the hair thing. I'm not sure what we're gonna do about bumpers. I have one from a Jeep Wrangler that I might put on, but really not a load of places to hook it to. So I'm not sure on that one yet. And ultimately in a crash, I know it's going to help you a right lot anyway. The back one, um, I've still got the frame from the original and, and it's got a kind of a hoop, but it's an offset hoop, which looks really silly. So I think I'm just going to use the original frame and have a big piece of tube welded across there. And then one thing they talked to me about at the welding shop was actually, since a spare is going to sit there, actually have it, have it dished out in the tube. So it kind of supports it a little bit. My only concern with that is I might have to go to taller tires. Um, handles really well on these because it sits lower and they're kind of wider, but not a lot of ground clearance. Um, and a, you know, a taller tire would look like it would fit and it would pick it up just a little bit. So um, more to come on that. Anyway, this is probably the last video. So there she is, 1979 um, Australian Leyland Moke Californian which at some point in this life was converted to uh, left-hand drive. Although, as you can see, they forgot to swap the wipers over. Anyway, there she is.